Time to create a template in the Essential Graphics panel. Can you imagine if you had 30 comps and got feedback that you needed to go in and tweak each individual comp separately? Today, I'm gonna to show you how to use the Essential Graphics panel to drive all 30 comps from just a single comp, all while still giving you the flexibility to change assets in each one. You're gonna see me gloss over the drop-down menu control because I've already done a tutorial on that. So if you wanna check that out, check out the description in the link below. If you're finding this channel helpful, I'd appreciate it if you subscribed and hit the bell icon to be notified with each new tutorial. All right, let's jump in. What if I told you that all of these assets were actually built off of one comp? So if I double click on any of these comps, I'm gonna hit tab to go back out. If I click on a different one, you can see the layout is totally the same. So the, everything is built off of this one comp and then it's duplicated over time. So let's talk about how we can streamline this. So I have a drop down menu control here for each team that I populated on my controller drop down menu control. So I did it once and if I open up my logo, you can see I have all my logos laid out here and I have an expression if I hit T or if I hit EE actually on my opacity basically saying if the drop down menu control equals 2 because the drop down menu control goes one, two, it starts at one, two, select Boston, it's gonna to switch to 100%. So this is one way to write that. I'm saying if the drop down menu up here equals the index over here, I want you to be 100, else zero. You can write this out as a if else statement. Um, this is just another way to write that. So if I hit tab to go back, I have Boston right now. And if I go into my jerseys, I have the exact same layout. So if I hit T on opacity, you can see it's at zero. I copied and pasted this expression and put it both on the logo and the jersey. So if I hit EE, we should see it's at 100% because this is selected as Boston. So I tied this to, if I hit tab to go back a comp, I tied this all to the controller in this comp, the city edition comp, and I tied it to the drop down menu control. So when I change this, let's say Nix or Utah or OKC, you can see that we have both changing at the same time just based off of this one input. Now there's a couple different ways to do the colors. I opted not to automate these, although I could have. So instead what I did is I just put three colors up here at the top and I pick whipped EE. I added a fill and pick whipped to each color, whatever color I wanted the layer to be, knowing that I was going to change these colors. So since this is a one-off project, I didn't go deep into the weeds of trying to automate as much of this as possible but it did give it does give me the ability let's say if i wanted to add something else to the comp let's say maybe we make this 20 23 20 23 and if i hit p i can scoot this over so you can see it a little bit better so now when we go back if i hit tab go back to my main comp here you see 2023 here, but when I scroll, you're going to see it with every team based on the color that we're driving. So once I have everything set up in this comp, primary comp, I elevated what I wanted, which was just the what's in this controller here. If I hit E, I elevated the colors and the drop down menu control up into my primary comp here which should be the same comp as you're working in. So elevate what you want. And then when I hit tab and go back to my city edition Jersey comp, if I twirl these down, I have my essential properties. So whatever gets loaded in the city edition jerseys is what appears 
under essential properties here under each comp. So I laid down one comp and duplicated it 30 times and offset it based on the timing that I needed. And you can see there's some overlap underneath here and that's because I wanted it to animate off as well. So I, I didn't want it to jump off. I wanted it to feel like it was getting pushed up by the next one. So you can see Boston logo gets pushed up there. All right, so then I went in here and changed the colors to be the two colors for each team. And I also changed the drop down menu control to be that team as well. So let's say if this was Philly, you can see that the logo and the image changed out. And then all I had to do was update the colors. Now I could have taken this a step further and said if it's Philly, use this color one, use this color two. Um, but again, I didn't do that because this was a one off project. And once I got it set once, then it was good to go. So I weighed my time there and decided to go with this route. But I wanted to show you how you could streamline your process and make life easier, especially when you have edits. The City Edition Jerseys comp is a single comp that I can go in and, and edit if there's something that needs to be updated. And then it'll auto populate through every single one of these comps. So I don't have to go into each one individually and make this, the small tweaks and updates uh, that get requested from time to time. So I hope that helps you streamline your workflow and think about the project more holistically if you have a templated asset that you wanna replicate multiple times and change out specific assets.